Hey yo, what's up? Maji here and welcome to day 6 of New Jeans Week. So today we're going to be checking out a video entitled How New Jeans Was Formed? Hybe Secret Weapon? It's from the channel Internet's Nathan and well, hopefully this will give us some more insight into the group and get to know them a bit more. So here we go. Yes, I am back to cover, I'd say, the most intriguing and unanticipated group to come okay. out this year. I mean, even their debut caught me and other K-pop fans off guard. In a good way, because it seems like Korea is already in love with Hybe's new girl group, New Jeans. With their refreshing visuals, unique backgrounds, and numerous songs they dropped. And on top of that, it's crazy to see how young these members are. Which of course leads to some Yeah, there are three songs styling like came out group. within New like... New Jeans is just beginning as Hybe labels are preparing the debut like with just a short time in between by the end of each other and that's honestly scary because new jeans already broke a rookie record that was set by another girl group mm. in the same company you might have heard of them okay the Seraphim. now let's learn oh. how new jeans was formed so they broke the seraphim's record to debut is a five-member girl group created by Ador under Hive labels. And they debuted on August 1st with the single track, Cookie. But you may have noticed they also released other pre-debut songs like Attention, Hype Boy, and Her. So and Attention not, and Hype Boy are pre-debut songs? Ever, where all the members can speak Cookie's the actual story. debut? Hi everyone, hi everyone, hi everyone. I'm so hyped to see you right now. We also have three songs in total, including Cookie. So I really like Danielle's uh, Australian you accent. You can find out our names in second title music video, Hype Boy. Hype Boy music video is coming out tomorrow. And apparently I Hani also grew up in oh. Australia. I really hope you enjoyed watching our daily music video. I'll see you all There, soon. she Bye. also has a bit of an Australian accent as well. Bye. Take care. Alright, so the name. I, I, I get you. I was like, New to Jeans? all of them? Really? Why did they go with the name? Speak New English Jeans? quite well. Well, the lead producer of Ador, which is a sub label of Hive Labels, explains the name New Jeans has two meanings. Denim jeans are a timeless piece of clothing, and New Jeans wants mm -hmm. to represent that for this generation of music. Yeah, I think timeless. I think I read the about this somewhere. Is more of a word play on and then new the jeans the New Jeans new one. Jeans. Yeah. Again, to explain that these girls are a new type of idol. Aside from their music, which I'd say stands out among other groups in K-pop right now. It's very, very refreshing for some reason. Probably the biggest talking point about New Jeans is the fact that the average age of the group is just 16 years old. People were shocked when a member Hayen said They're pretty she was young. in elementary school when the COVID pandemic Hayen is the started. youngest, right? Now that At I made 14. everyone watching this feel old, New Jeans but their average nice age is 16. Age, but with their instant fame and success, following in the footsteps of their bigger sisters, the set of him, New Jeans just dropped their first self-entitled mini album and broke the first day album sales by a girl group. They set the record. Okay, with over that's the record they broke. Copies sold first day album sales. One day. The previous record holder, let's set up him, sold 176,000 copies in a day, mm. holding it for only three broke months. Broke it by quite a bit. New Jeans showed up. Now, if that doesn't show this group's potential, I, I don't know what does. Now that we found out more behind this group, let's find out more about the members. Minzy was born in 2004 in Gangwon, South Korea. And you may okay. remember back in the day when Hyde was called four. a hit, they announced a so she's around 18. to form a new girl group. That is where Minji came into the picture. Minji was actually the face of the whole global audition, appearing in multiple promotional mm -hmm. videos. And she was probably one of the first names to be considered for New Jeans once production for the debut began. Since Minji joined Swartz Music, another sub-label under Hybe, when she was a sophomore or in her second year of middle school. But that isn't where she started. Minji, before becoming a Source Music trainee, was a trainee under Source the Music is the one that it. But back under Source managed Music, managed G-Friend, right? She appeared for a BTS music video, Permission to Dance, but that is when Ooh. Minji had a massive offer from the founder of SM Entertainment. Isuman Isu recruited her and reached out to her parents to join SM Entertainment and guarantee Minji a central okay. role in an upcoming girl group. It was a win-win for Minji, but she chose to stay right where she was at she didn't take the offer. Sorry, like I mentioned, Minji can't speak English, but we haven't got too much of a chance to see that yet. And that was probably a great skill to have as she was chosen for this new girl group to debut as the leader, apparently, of New Jeans. Honey was born in 2004 in Melbourne, Australia. 
but her parents are of Vietnamese descent. That is something yeah. you almost never see in K-pop. It's quite rare. Most idols come from or have Japan, China, or Thai ethnicity, and there's only been a handful of Vietnamese idol ever in K-pop history. But I say not from popular groups or companies. <laughs> <laughs> On top of that, Hani could speak Korean, Vietnamese, and English since she was born and raised in Australia, where Hani got her start in a dance crew called Amina Dance Crew. Based okay, in so she was City part of, of a dance crew before. Where they performed K-pop dance covers. Oh, then Melbourne! The I actually have relatives in Melbourne. Is the same where Hani auditioned for and passed in October 2019. That's when she started training to become hmm. an idol in Korea, and after two and a half years, Hani became the first Vietnamese idol to debut out of high labels. And debut with new jeans. Oh, Honey also writes lyrics and is credited as a writer for their track High Boy. Danielle was oh, born in 2005 I didn't in know that. South Korea. But being so she contributed to lyrics to High Boy. And mother, Tanya would move back and forth between the two countries, probably because she started a career in Korea where she was seven years old as a child Ooh. model and appearing in numerous TV shows as well. Then Tanya would transition to K-pop. Okay, she so she's a child actress. When she was 14 years old, after two and a half years of training, Tanya debuted as a member of New Jeans, and just like Hani, Tanya also co-wrote for the song Attention. Like this group is mm. young, yes, but they actually so they help have crazy write the lyrics and as well to be special in K-pop. If they can also write their own lyrics. That sounded so good. <laughs> Hedin was born in 2006 in Pyeongchon, South off the cuff. There isn't much info about Hedin's pre-debut activity, but she was pretty popular in school, known for her looks and nice personality. Hopefully, Hedin shares more about herself as that's basically all we know about her. Aside from her being another trainee who got into high by passing that 2019 global audition, she put in the work and two and a half years later, she debuted with new jeans. And last but not least, Hyun was hey? born in 2008 in Incheon, South Korea. Even and though hey Hyun is the, the youngest, you might be shocked to know that new jeans wasn't her first group. She debuted back in 2017 when Hyun was... 2017. Like, I mean, she, she was nine. Nine, nine years, years old. old. Yeah, I barely know how to multiply, but let me train and debut at the same time, is probably what she said. Ken only stayed in the group USSO. Girl so she's for been in the industry for quite a while. More YouTube kid programs, where she actually got the chance to meet and work with future label mates tomorrow by Together. Mm. <laughs> He's in the sixth grade. But unlike the rest of the members, Han was casted instead of auditioning for the company, where she would debut as the magne of New Jeans. She didn't need to audition. Okay, so that was how New Jeans was formed uh, by Internet's Nathan. And yeah, it's quite interesting to know uh, the origins of this group, especially they, since they seem to have come as quite a surprise to the K-pop industry. And it's quite uncommon too to have like in K-pop, this like uh, like I, I don't know what what they call uh how how they actually describe the album if it's like a triple lead single album or if it's or if the other songs attention hype boy and hurt are considered as pre debut tracks uh. But yeah, uh, releasing so many songs in such a short period of time with their own MVs is uh, uh, quite uncommon in the K-pop industry. And <laughs> especially considering Hype Boy having four, uh, four different versions of their MV. 
well and yeah and also uh one thing i gotta say is that uh new jeans music is i think uh what was used to describe it here is uh refreshing uh because yeah it, it it's it is quite different from the usual uh music you hear in the in k-pop nowadays although uh one thing to note there is that a lot of groups in k-pop nowadays are branching out in terms of uh, musical style and genre but even so new gene new gene still sounds uh different from the others and yeah uh it's we seem to have like uh a very solid uh group uh in new jeans in and uh from what i've seen from them so far uh they really seem to work well together and uh yeah so i'm looking forward to getting to know them more and more uh even after we're done with new jeans week i will still be looking up content from them and yeah i'm excited for the future of this group so let's see how, where it goes so that was my reaction to how new jeans was formed don't forget to like comment and subscribe also feel free to check out my patreon where I also post reactions to some longer form content, more casual content, that is mostly free, uh, with just some bonus stuff reserved for those who are kind enough to subscribe. So just go ahead and check it out. The link to my Patreon is in the description down below. Also, if you're interested in gaming content, you can catch me from time to time on Twitch. Uh, the details of which are also in the description down below. Anyways, thank you so much again for watching. Thank you for joining me on this groovy, interesting, and just a really, really great journey with new jeans. Until next time, have a great day, everyone, and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.